In the shadows of trust, danger lurks. Today, we are delve into the depths of the human psyche and navigate the treacherous waters of trust. We unveil the enigma that is don't trust those who do these seven things, seven dangerous people. Fasten your seatbelts, because in this journey through the corridors of caution, we'll decipher the signs, expose the dangers, and arm you with the wisdom of stoicism to change as quickly as possible. Brace yourselves for an eye-opening expedition into the world of trust and betrayal. Our journey begins with the realization that trust, once broken, can shatter the very foundations of our lives. Don't trust those who do these seven things is not just a title, it's a sentinel warning, a roadmap to safeguard your well-being. Join me as we explore the dangerous archetypes that threaten the fabric of trust and learn how stoicism can be our guiding light in navigating these perilous waters. Person number one, the manipulator. Our first dangerous character is the manipulator. This puppeteer of emotions weaves a web of deceit leaving you entangled and questioning your reality. Stoicism teaches us to recognize the subtle threads of manipulation, empowering us to cut through the illusion and regain control. Manipulators are masters of disguise, often wearing masks of charm and false sincerity. Stoicism invites us to sharpen our discernment, to see beyond the fey aid and cultivate a mindset of inner strength. By understanding the manipulator's tactics, we can shield ourselves from their influence and break free from the chains of manipulation. The challenge lies in the insidious nature of manipulation. Victims often don't realize they're being manipulated until the damage is done. Stoicism teaches us to cultivate self-awareness, to question our perceptions, and to seek wisdom in understanding the motives of those around us. To combat manipulation, Stoicism offers the shield of virtue. By anchoring ourselves in principles of integrity and truth, we build an impenetrable defense against the manipulator's illusions. It's not just about identifying external manipulators, but also recognizing and rectifying any manipulative tendencies within ourselves. Imagine encountering a manipulator in your personal or professional life. Stoicism encourages us to view such encounters as opportunities for growth. By maintaining a stoic mindset, I learned to navigate the intricate dance of manipulation with grace, emerging stronger and wiser on the other side as we unveil the dangers of the manipulator, prepare yourself for the next perilous archetype in our journey. If you're finding value in these insights, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Now, let's unravel the mysteries of Dangerous Person 2. Person number 2. The Deceiver. Meet the Deceiver the architect of falsehoods who spins a web of lies, leaving truth in tatters. In this segment, we'll unravel the art of deception, understand the havoc it wreaks, and embrace the stoic principles that empower us to see through the veil of lies. Deceivers thrive in the shadows, exploiting trust with fabricated narratives. Stoicism teaches us to be vigilant, to question information, and to seek the truth beneath the surface. By cultivating a discerning mind, we can unveil the deception that threatens to erode the foundations of trust. The challenge lies in the subtlety of deception. Often, deceivers operate under the guise of trustworthiness, making it difficult to discern fact from fiction. Stoicism equips us with the tools to embrace uncertainty to question assumptions, and to cultivate a resilient mindset in the face of deception. To combat deception, 
Stoicism encourages us to embody the virtue of wisdom. By honing our critical thinking skills, we can navigate the labyrinth of deceit with clarity. It's not just about identifying external deceivers, but also cultivating internal honesty and transparency. Picture a scenario where the truth is veiled in a web of lies. Stoicism guided me to approach such situations with a calm mind, asking questions, seeking evidence, and acknowledging that uncovering the truth is a journey, not a sprint. In doing so, I not only exposed the deceiver, but also strengthened my commitment to truth. As we unmask the deceiver, brace yourself for the revelation of Dangerous Person 3. Person number three, the opportunist. Enter the opportunist, a chameleon in the landscape of trust, adapting to exploit every situation. In this segment, we dissect the motives of opportunism, explore its impact on trust, and embrace the stoic principles that empower us to discern between genuine allies and opportunistic leeches. Opportunists are skilled at identifying vulnerabilities and leveraging them for personal gain. Stoicism teaches us to fortify our defenses, to cultivate discernment, and to navigate relationships with wisdom. By understanding the opportunistic mindset, we can shield ourselves from those who seek to exploit trust for their own agendas. The challenge lies in the opportunistic camouflage often disguised as allies. Opportunists exploit trust until their motives are laid bare. Stoicism equips us with the tools to recognize opportunism, encouraging us to view challenges as opportunities for growth and discernment. To combat opportunism, Stoicism emphasizes the virtue of discernment. By honing our ability to distinguish genuine intentions from opportunistic motives, we navigate the social landscape with clarity and resilience. It's not just about identifying external opportunists, but also cultivating an internal compass that aligns with stoic principles. Imagine a scenario where an opportunist attempts to exploit your trust for personal gain, Stoicism guided me to approach such situations with a discerning mind, recognizing the signs of opportunism and responding with grace and resilience. In doing so, I not only protected my trust, but also fortified my commitment to genuine connections. As we unravel the intricacies of the opportunist, prepare yourself for the unveiling of dangerous person four. Person number four, the saboteur. Meet the saboteur, a harbinger of chaos who thrives on undermining trust and sowing seeds of discord. In this segment, we'll expose the tactics of sabotage, understand its corrosive impact on trust, and embrace the stoic principles that empower us to stand resilient in the face of intentional harm. Saboteurs operate in the shadows, subtly eroding trust and harmony. Stoicism teaches us to be vigilant, to recognize the sign and sabotage, and to cultivate a mindset of resilience. By understanding the tactics of the saboteur, we can shield ourselves from intentional harm and navigate relationships with wisdom. The challenge lies in the covert nature of sabotage, often disguised as friendly gestures or constructive criticism. Stoicism equips us with the tools to recognize sabotage, encouraging us to view challenges as opportunities for growth and discernment. To combat sabotage, Stoicism emphasizes the virtue of resilience. By fortifying our inner citadel and maintaining a steadfast commitment to our principles, we become impervious to the attempts of saboteurs. It's not just about identifying external saboteurs, but also cultivating an internal strength that aligns with stoic principles. Imagine a scenario where a saboteur attempts to undermine your efforts or relationships. Stoicism guided me to approach such situations with resilience, 
recognizing the signs of sabotage and responding with clarity and purpose. In doing so, I not only protected my trust, but also emerged stronger from the challenges. As we unveil the dangers of the saboteur, brace yourself for the revelation of dangerous person five. Person number five, the underminer. Enter the underminer, a subtle underminer of trust who erodes foundations with whispers of doubt. In this segment, we'll delve into the tactics of undermining, understand its corrosive impact on trust, and embrace the stoic principles that empower us to stand firm amidst the whispers of uncertainty. The underminer operates in the shadows, subtly planting seeds of doubt that grow into a forest of mistrust. Stoicism teaches us to be vigilant, to recognize the subtle signs of undermining and to cultivate a mindset of steadfastness. By understanding the tactics of the underminer, we can shield ourselves from the erosion of trust and navigate relationships with wisdom. The challenge lies in the covert nature of undermining often disguised as harmless comments or passive-aggressive behavior. Stoicism equips us with the tools to recognize undermining, encouraging us to view challenges as opportunities for growth and discernment. To combat undermining, Stoicism emphasizes the virtue of steadfastness. By fortifying our inner citadel and maintaining a steadfast commitment to our principles, we become impervious to the attempts of underminers. It's not just about identifying external underminers, but also cultivating an internal strength that aligns with stoic principles. Imagine a scenario where an underminer subtly plants doubts in your mind or among your peers. Stoicism guided me to approach such situations with steadfastness, recognizing the signs of undermining and responding with clarity and resilience. In doing so, I not only protected my trust but also upheld the integrity of my relationships. As we navigate the intricacies of the underminer, Brace yourself for the unveiling of Dangerous Person 6. Person number 6, The Exploiter. Meet the Exploiter, a cunning manipulator who preys on vulnerability for personal gain. In this segment, we'll uncover the methods of exploitation, understand its impact on trust, and embrace the stoic principles that empower us to shield ourselves from those who seek to exploit our trust. The exploiter thrives on identifying vulnerabilities and leveraging them for personal gain, caring little for the well-being of others. Stoicism teaches us to fortify our defenses, to cultivate discernment, and to navigate relationships with wisdom. By understanding the exploitative mindset, we can shield ourselves from those who seek to exploit trust for their own agendas. The challenge lies in the exploitative nature of exploiters often disguised as allies. They exploit trust until their motives are laid bare. Stoicism equips us with the tools to recognize exploitation, encouraging us to view challenges as opportunities for growth and discernment. To combat exploitation, Stoicism emphasizes the virtue of discernment. By honing our ability to distinguish genuine intentions from exploitative motives, we navigate the social landscape with clarity and resilience. It's not just about identifying external exploiters, but also cultivating an internal compass that aligns with Stoic principles. Imagine a scenario where an exploiter attempts to take advantage of your vulnerabilities. Stoicism guided me to approach such situations with discernment, recognizing the signs of exploitation and responding with clarity and resilience. In doing so, I not only protected my trust, but also fortified my commitment to genuine connections. As we unveil the dangers of the exploiter, Brace yourself for the revelation of Dangerous Person 7. 
Person Number 7 The Betrayer Introducing the Betrayer The Architect of Broken Trust and Shattered Alliances In this segment, we'll confront the painful reality of betrayal, understand its devastating impact on trust, and embrace the stoic principles that empower us to find strength in the aftermath of betrayal. The Betrayer a figure that often elicits a mix of emotions, anger, hurt, and confusion. Stoicism teaches us to confront the harsh realities of betrayal, to understand that external events have no power over our inner tranquility unless we allow them. By internalizing this stoic wisdom, we can navigate the aftermath of betrayal with resilience and grace. The challenge lies in the emotional turmoil that follows betrayal the sense of loss, the feelings of anger, and the temptation to succumb to despair. Stoicism equips us with the tools to process these emotions, encouraging us to view challenges as opportunities for growth and self-discovery. To combat the aftermath of betrayal, Stoicism emphasizes the virtue of resilience by fortifying our inner citadel and maintaining a steadfast commitment to our principles, we become impervious to the lingering shadows of betrayal. It's not just about identifying external betrayers, but also cultivating an internal strength that aligns with stoic principles. Imagine a scenario where trust is shattered by a betrayer. Stoicism guided me to approach the aftermath with resilience. Recognizing the pain, acknowledging the emotions, and responding with a commitment to my own well-being. In doing so, I not only protected my inner tranquility, but also emerged stronger from the crucible of betrayal. As we stand at the culmination of our exploration into Don't Trust Those Who Do These Seven Things Seven Dangerous People, remember that trust, once broken, can be rebuilt. Stoicism offers us not just a shield against betrayal, but a path to inner resilience and growth. If you found value in this journey, don't forget to hit that like button and share your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for navigating these shadows with me. Until our next exploration, stay vigilant, stay stoic, and keep forging a path of trust and resilience.